have a drink, get to know better, just send your secretary, shy, you like, maybe. your bodyguard if you're shy, and come and present whatever you want to present for you to have a drink with you. Yeah. Yeah. Any man is interested, you could see me after this. So Eunice, please pick up the lucky Lambada results for two for Mombasa, for the people who did the first raffle, or the second raffle. The color is white, and the number is one, two. That is 12. Color is white, the number is 12. For this lucky winner, white, number 12. Thank you. Where is number 12? Somebody is white. Lucky winner. 12 whites. Let's give a hand of applause, please. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, it is lucky winner for a night for two at Lambada. Are you going to go? Yeah. Thank you very much, Jen, for your you. nice gesture. Okay. And here you go to Lambada. The color and the number. Okay, she's right. Okay, and the number? The color is white and the number is six. The color is white and the number is six. No, it cannot be. You're coming from the same desk. <laughs> your name, please, and pick up your flamingo for two. Susie, you're very lucky, you guys. Oh, my God. This is a couple. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a toast. I'd like to propose a toast to the health. And by the way, if you're not raising your glass, uh, you have a right to be uh, I don't have a glass. Uh, that's why. Right. So someone is nice enough to give me a glass. Give me a glass. Give me a glass. Give me a glass. I'm Brussels with me, Brian Wicked. Brian Wicked, uh, Ted is saying he never saw you putting anything in this basket. Even Morris, my friend Morris. Morris, the friends, and I'm calling also from Serena. Thank you. Brian, my man! Thank you so much. much. Mr. Wicked wants to give us a check. Ray Jones, just come up. It's written under. Uh, can it be written directly? Let me confirm this. Uh, I'll let you call up my uncle who's here. Uh, my uncle, where are you? You know yourself, just come and give something before I call you. Wonderful. Looking around for some more friends to come and help me out. Charles Mandepa. Then I also want members of this band to help me out, my life. Come and talk to Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise your glasses up in the sky. Glassy do your anger. Brian Wage, 15,000. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you so much. Friday results is in the house. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. Now, I'm told you this is color. I think. Blue, green, yeah. LFG, baby. All right. Uh, color blue, number 14. The number below is FG23. Blue 14, FG23. For the first call, the winner of 15,000 worth of a present. No, you're coming from the same desk, you, you donate it back. Okay, just come and present this, sit down, and we do it again. Thank you so much. I'm not going to give your friend this, Milan. Yeah, he's coming back. He's so pick another one. Yes, yes. Okay, this is your friend. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and you have, I believe you have many bicycles. Another friend? Oh, so since you bought everything, so you're winning everything. You have to change the price. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right. You have a point. Can your friend come back and collect the price? I'm going to give your friend the dinner for two since he lives in Nairobi in Serena Beach Hotel. Thank you. Serena, Serena Hotel, Nairobi. At least, at least. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Because Milan, if I gave him what you donated, I'm sure you could have ended it back in your backyard. Thank you so much. I'm going to my coffee for Mr. Milan. And now, to present the next raffle, which is going to be done here, 
is none other than the wife of my director, Veronica Flay. Thank you so much. These are the people. Thank you so much. Calling Miss Veronica or Mrs. Robert, wherever you are, to come please and pick up the next winning raffle ticket. Veronica, if she's far away, anybody seeing her? Thank you, Veronica. Please come up. Who will be beyond us? My coffee, the salary. And the winner is number six, white. Number six, white. Going once, twice. Okay. Oh my God. For the second time tonight. Thank you very much, Serena Hotels. Awesome. Thank you so much for your good hat. Thank you very much, Mrs. Roberts, Veronica. Thank you so much. The founder of Hatua Likoni. Miss Gabi, to come and give you a few words of this. One of the founders and directors of Hatua Likoni. I'm here with my co-workers. Uh, can you guys wave your hands? I'm also here with three of our students, beneficiaries of the program. Can you guys raise your hands? So I want to thank you guys because you've been very generous without knowing exactly what you're giving towards. So let me give you a sense of where all the money raised tonight is going and let me encourage you one more time as you're listening to me talk to reach into your wallets and give a bit more because the cause you're giving to is our organization is based in Likoni, Mombasa which is an area um, struggling academically. I'd say we're facing an education crisis. I can tell you that our average KCS, KCPE score last year was 220. Our average KCSE score was a D plus. You can see that we're really struggling academically. And in a poor community with poor academics, you're getting a perpetuated cycle of poverty. But our goal is to break that cycle of poverty. We're working to make sure that the top talents in our community aren't wasted. Are you hearing me in the back? All right. So we're making sure the top talents aren't wasted. We're making sure that top performing students How's this? Is that okay? Alright. So, we're making sure that the top performing students in our community are able to access and access a high quality education. We work with the public primary schools to identify students from needy families who are performing well, who would otherwise drop out of school and their education at class eight and be qualified for what? To be street vendors, to quarry stone. We're changing their lives. We're making sure they get a secondary education and then we're continuing on with them to college and university. So a kid that would otherwise sell tomatoes on the side of the road is now studying law, is now studying medicine, is now studying accounts, is now studying video production, ready to be on KBC a few years from now. These are young people who are going to be assets to the economy and they're going to lift their families, they're going to educate their siblings, they're going to make a difference in their community. So what we're doing is making sure that the young people who are the future of this country are going to be part of building this country, that Kenya is going to go to a better place five, ten years from now. So in addition to scholarships, we also provide mentoring for our students. In high school, we're providing career guidance. We're inviting professionals from different careers to talk to our students, to learn, to introduce them to different careers. If you're a professional and you're in this room tonight, please consider, when you're in Mombasa, stop by, talk to our students, give them guidance. Tell them what you have done to get where you are. For our university students, we're pairing our university students with individual mentors. If you would like to be a mentor, develop a personal connection with a student, meet with them three or four times a year, come and talk to me. We'd like to pair you with one of our students. So that's our scholarship and mentoring program. We also run a community library, which is open seven days a week and free of charge to everyone. 
We've served 50,000 visitors. We're getting 200 in a day. We're providing textbooks, free access to curriculum books for students who can't afford them. We're providing a good study environment for kids who are from families that don't have electricity. We also work in partnership with an organization called the Likoni Community Football League, which has 36 teams and over 750 kids. It's the first organized sports activity in our community, and these kids are playing sports every Sunday. They're also learning life skills. Their coaches are teaching them the importance of healthy living, teaching them about HIV, teaching them about drug and alcohol abuse prevention. Another program that we run is called the Likoni Civic Education Network. Leading up to the elections, we did a lot of work to promote peace. We created a video which was aired at the Likoni Ferry in the month leading up to the elections promoting peace. And if anyone was paying attention to the news, you might have noticed that while Likoni is often in the news for something negative, this time around it was the most peaceful part of Mombasa. So the work that we do is to help ensure that young people are getting a high quality education, to help build civil society in our community, and to advocate for the needs of young people. So those of you here who believe in our cause, reach into your pockets one more time. You know, school fees this year really increased. I don't know if any of you guys have kids in secondary school, but across the country, school fees increased by 25 to 30 percent. For us, that meant a million shillings that we hadn't budgeted for. So far, we've raised 500,000 of that, but we are 500,000 short for third-term school fees. Now, if I look around the room, I see maybe two, three hundred people. If each of you can give 2,000 shillings, it means we have enough to pay third-term school fees for 140 kids. So please, reach into your pockets and make it happen. Thank you to Florida. Thank you to the Global Party. Thank you to all of you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Gabby. We promise you it will be fast. So, Terry.